morning. Hello, happy Wednesday. Come join me. This is yoga story time. I always say this is great for kids five or six and under. Hello. I'm all the way here in New York. I'm so happy you can join me. So, this is kind of different from your regular story time. It's action packed. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Elliot. I'm so glad you're here. Happy Wednesday. So I'm gonna read some books. And when we come across some of the animals or parts of nature we know from yoga, we're gonna stop the story, do the yoga pose, and then jump right back into the story. Come join me, what do you need? You really don't need anything, just your body. Bring your body. A reminder for the grown-ups. If you put your child's name in the comments, I can interact with them. Right, Elliot? That's right. It makes it so much more interesting. We're gonna get started in just a second. Hello, hi, I'm Sherry. Let's take a big breath in together. <sighs> Everyone bring their hands today. Adriana, did you bring your hands? Always bring your hands. Did you bring your feet? <gasps> I have my feet. Hello, feet. Eliana, did you say good morning to your feet? Hello, right foot. Maddie, how about your left foot? <gasps> Hello, left foot. Did you bring your elbows? Always bring your elbows with you. <gasps> did you bring your tongue? Can I see it? Uh, can I see the tongue? Huh? Uh, I got to put the hot to talk like this. Kitty cats. How would you say all? Um, Elliot, do you know? Of course, they say meow, but cats don't have hands or hooves. Do you know what they have? They got little furry paws. Can you make little paws? Look at my paws, they're so small and furry. Rub your paws, sit up tall, take a big cat breath, big sniffing. <sighs> meow. Yay, oh, I can't hear it when I clap my paws. I need my hands back. Clap, clap, clap your hands, clap your hands together. Do you still have your feet? Let's clap our feet. Clap, clap, clap your feet, clap your feet together. Can you clap your hands and your feet? Let's try. Clap, clap, hands and feet, hands and feet together. Clap, clap, hands and feet, hands and feet together. Now reach everything up to the sky and say woohoo. Hugging your knees, give them both a kiss. All right, let's get crisscross applesauce. Are you ready for my first story? You know, I get a little excited too, so I always want to take a big breath so that I'm ready for anything. Will you help me? Will you take a big breath with me? <sighs> now, my first book today is by the amazing Eric Carl. He just, his books are just so action packed and they're so much fun to start with. The artist who painted a blue horse. I am an artist and I paint a blue horse. Let's come into horse pose. So start in your down dog. We're gonna take one leg to the sky and say, nay. Then reach the other leg to the sky and say, nay. The first leg, nay. And the other one, nay. Good job, horses. Come on down, let's see what's next. And, oh, who's that? And what color is he? A red crocodile, oh my goodness. Let's put our bellies on the floor. Put your bellies on the floor. And we're gonna make that big mouth using our arms. So we're gonna stretch our arms out in front of us, one on top of the other, open it wide, just like the crocodile, and say, chomp, chomp, chomp. And then let's flip our mouth over, other arm on top, chomp, chomp, chomp. And then your long crocodile tail is your legs. So let's hold them together and lift that tail up and down, 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 amazing crocodiles. 
Very strong back. Let's see what's next. And who's that? Oh my goodness, and what color is he? Yellow cow, how silly. Let's put our hands and knees on the floor. Hands and knees on the floor. Look up to the sky, tail to. Take a big cow breath in and say, breath in and say Ooh. and you know what one more big cow breath in Ooh. nice cows and oh, who's that and what color a pink bunny rabbit see these what are those those are his pink ears. We're gonna make them come on up to stand. And we're gonna bring our arms to our heads to make those long floppy ears. Bend your knees. And we're gonna hop. Boing, 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 freeze. Shake your little bunny tail. And hop. Boing, 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 freeze. One more time, shake your tail. Good job, bunnies. And who's that? Oh my goodness, what color is he? A green lion. Let's sit on our lion knees. Lions are very proud. So stick out your lion chest. Give your lion legs a scratch. Take a big, deep lion breath. And what did the lion say? It feels so good to roar like a lion. Let's do that again and see if we can roar for longer. Not louder, longer. Don't scare your grown-ups. Okay. Okay. Lion chest out. Give your legs a scratch. Take a bigger, deeper lion breath. grown up. It happens all the time. Do you have your tongue? Do you still have your tongue with you? Uh, 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 uh. I'm going to teach you a lion hiss. So imagine you have the longest lion tongue in the whole land. That's on here. It on the top of the ground. So we're going to take a big breath in. Pause our choice and let out a big lion hiss and show your tongue. Oh my goodness, can you do that again? Oh, can you come a little closer? Oh my goodness, too close. Back up, that was a little scary. Amazing, do you think you have one more lion roar in you? Why not, for the biggest lion roar of the day, but wait, stick out your chest, give your legs a scratch, take the biggest lion breath of the day. Roar! Woo. Let's see what's next, green lions. And, oh my goodness, who's that? And what color is he? An orange elephant. Come on up to stand. We're gonna make that trunk by holding our own hands and swinging it. And when the elephant walks, he stomps his feet. He's pretty big. And he swings his trunk. Swing, swing, swing your trunk. Stomp, stomp, stomp your feet. Let's reach our trunks all the way up to the sky. Make a big happy elephant sound. Let's see what's next. And who's that? It's a purple fox. See those little triangle ears? Let's make those little ears. Oh. And then we're gonna use our foxy nose to make a little breath. Can you take three, one, two, three, uno, dos, tres, un, dos, trois, little breaths into your nose and one out. And foxy foxes, 
check in for a moment, notice how you feel. The fox breath is an energizing breath. It's perfect for the morning. Let's try it one more time. You got your little foxy ears? Okay, three breaths in. One, two, three, into the nose and one out. Three little quick ones, ready? Let's do it together. Maddie, I heard you breathing. Awesome. Good job, you guys. Check in again and notice how you feel, right? What does it mean? Notice your mood, notice your energy, notice your thoughts, just notice your stuff and let it go. And let's see what's happening here. And oh, a black polar bear. Oh my goodness. So silly. Let's come on to our knees. But this time we're going to make them wide. Now a polar bear is usually white and the only parts of him that aren't are the pads on his paws and his cute little nose. So we're going to hide our nose and our paws in the snow. Uh oh, someone's coming. <gasps> Reach your polar bear paws to the sky, take a big bear breath in. Grrr. Oh, it was just one of our friends. Oh, hide your nose again. Well done, polar bears. And, oh my goodness, I don't even know if you're ready for this. We should take a big breath. A polka dotted donkey. Have you ever seen such a thing? Michelle, how about you? Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to be polka dotted donkeys. Rainbows, stripes, polka dots, anything you'd like. We're gonna come into a down dog. And then from here, to be a donkey, we want to kick both feet, but be sure to land on your feet. No knees, right? Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. Come on down, shake out your donkey hooves. I am a good artist. The end. Yay! All right, my friends, stretch out your arms and your legs really wide. It's TikTok time. And check in, right? So what do we do? Maybe put your hand on your heart, on your belly, even on your lap, right? 
and just check in. Eliana, notice how you feel. <sighs> notice your mood, notice your energy. <sighs> All right, are you ready for my next story? This book is called Mouse Was Mad. Do you know any mad mice? Me neither. Let's find out what happened here. Mouse Was Mad by Linda Urban. Mouse was mad, hopping mad. You look ridiculous, said Hare. Mouse stopped hopping. Let me show you how to hop properly, said Hare, who truly was a hopping whiz. Remember in our last book, so the bunny, hair is another word, another name for the bunny, but we're gonna do some hopping. So let's get our ears back on. Come on up to stand. Bend your knees and hop. Boing, 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 freeze. Shake your tail. Good job, bunnies. Mouse tried to hop like hair. Nothing doing. Mouse's hop hop flopped and splish into a mucky mud puddle. Oh no, poor Mouse. Now Mouse was really mad, stomping mad. You call that stomping, said Bear. Mouse stopped stomping. Stomping done right should result in the shaking of trees and the rumbling of earth said Bear. Bear stomped. The trees shook and the earth rumbled. Let's come into bear pose, you guys. So before we were a polar bear, regular bear or non-polar bear, it could be a black bear, a Kodiak bear, it could be a rainbow bear, is a little different. So we're gonna start in a down dog, but because bears are so much bigger, we're gonna make it wide. Then go for a bear walk, and see if you can use opposite hands and feet as you're walking. Bear walking, bear walking. Try going forward, try going backwards, and then freeze. Bear paws up, take a big bear breath in, and the bear says, ribbit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Excuse me, that doesn't seem right. Okay, do over. Bear paws up. Take a big bear breath in. Oink. Nope, I did it again. Hmm. Maddie, help me out here. Oh, thank you. Okay, everyone, bear paws up. Big breath in. Grrr. Paws down. Walk on back over. And let's see what happens. Mouse tried to stomp like bear. The trees did not shake and the earth did not rumble. Mouse's stomp, stomp, flopped and sploosh into another mucky mud puddle. Oh no, poor Mouse. Now Mouse was really, really mad, screaming mad. That's hardly a scream at all, said Bobcat. Mouse stopped screaming. When I scream, you can hear it echo through the woods. Bobcat screamed to prove his point, and it echoed and echoed. So, you know, Bobcat, not a lion, not a house cat. He's somewhere in between, right? Um, so I'm going to give you a Bobcat, lion, kitty cat choice, depending how your body's feeling. Maybe your body would like to come into a cat. Meow. Maybe your body wants to do the lion again. Rawr! Let's decide what your body needs right now. Hmm. Do I want to be on all fours? Do I want to sit? Let's figure that out in three, two. Take a big breath in and you let out either a roar or a meow. Rawr! You know, meows can echo through the woods too. Mouse opened his mouth wide and let out the loudest scream he could manage no echo. He tried arching his back like Bobcat, squeak, but lost his balance and fell splash into yet another mucky mud puddle. Poor Mouse. Now Mouse was really, really, really mad, rolling around on the ground mad. 
Pull your feet in, said Hedgehog. Mouse stopped rolling. The best rolling is achieved when the body is in a perfect sphere. Hedgehog tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands. He was a perfect sphere. That's a circle. Mouse tucked in his nose and his feet and his hands. He was not a perfect sphere, but he was close. He pulled in his tail and he rolled round and around and sploosh into the muckiest mud puddle of all. Oh no, poor Mouse. Now Mouse was really, 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 really mad, standing still mad. Mouse did not hop. He did not stomp. He did not scream or roll on the ground. He stood very, very, very still. Impressive, said Hare. What control, said Bear. Are you breathing, asked Hedgehog. Mouse took a deep breath. He let it out. <sighs> Bobcat heard air whistle through Mouse's nose, but he did not see Mouse move. Inspiring, said Bobcat. Bobcat stood very still. He tried to breathe deep and tried not to move. <gasps> Your ears twitch, said Hare. Let me try, but he could not keep his tail from wiggling. Bear tried, but when he breathed deep, the trees moved and the ground shook a little. Hedgehog came the closest, but even he could not keep his bristles from bristling. They stood together for a long time, breathing and being still. Let's try that. Come on up to stand. Okay. Okay, stand. Be still, freeze, but breathe. realized he was no longer mad. I feel better now, said Mouse. You look better now, said Bear. But you need a bath, said Hedgehog. Good idea, said Mouse. And sploosh into a bubbly bubble bath. The end. Yay, and just to celebrate Mouse, let's come into Mouse Pose, the tiniest of all poses. Also a resting pose. So come onto your knees. Make yourself into a tiny little ball. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Squeak, squeak. Amazing, you guys. Wasn't that a sweet story? All right, I've got time for one more book. And this is also one of my favorites. Highly recommended every house should have it. You're not too young, you're not too old, every school too. This book is called One by Katherine Otashi. Blue was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves, and on days he felt daring, splashing in the rain puddles. Every once in a while, he wished he was more sunny like yellow, or bright like green, more regal like purple, or outgoing like orange. But overall, he liked being blue. Except when he was with Red. <gasps> Red was a hothead. He liked to pick on blue. Oh no. Red is a great color, he'd say. Red is hot. Blue is not then Blue would feel bad about being Blue. Aww. Sometimes Yellow comforted Blue. Blue is a very nice color, she'd say, but Yellow never said that in front of Red. She never said, stop picking on Blue. Green, purple, and orange thought Blue was nice too, but they never told Red to stop either. Every time Red said something mean and no one spoke up, he got bigger, and bigger, and bigger. Soon Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared stop to stop him. Red picked on all the colors and then everyone felt a little blue until one came. Can you show me one with your finger? One, one. He had a different shape with bold strokes and squared corners. He was funny. 
He made all the colors laugh. Red saw this and got very hot. Stop laughing, he told yellow. Stop laughing, he told green. Stop laughing, he told purple and orange. And they did. Red rolled up to one. Stop laughing, he told him. But one stood up straight like an arrow and said, no. What did, he, what did, what did one say? No. Can you say it? No. Say it again. No. Say it louder. No. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge. So Red rolled away. One turned to the other colors and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I for one stand up and say, no. Then Yellow felt brave and said, me too. And Green greed and said, me three. Purple became four and orange became five. Blue saw the colors change. He wanted to count. Red grew red hot. He felt left out and grew hotter and hotter and hotter. Red raced over to Blue and said what he always did. Red is hot, Blue is not. But this time, Blue stood up tall and became six. Red can be really hot, he said, but Blue can be super cool. Red blew a fuse, that means he got so mad, and tried to roll over Blue. Oh no! But everyone took a stand and said, what do you think they said? No, say it with me. No, say it louder. No. Seeing them stand tall made Red feel very, very small. And then Red turned even redder and began rolling away. Blue called out, can Red be hot and Blue be cool? Red stopped in his tracks. Red can count two, said one. Red rocked and rolled and rocked and rolled until he turned into a seven. Everyone counts, they shouted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then Red laughed and joined the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. The end. Oh, I love that book so much. All right, my friends, let's take a little side bend. Let's take a little side bend. And then the other side. Now let's reach up to the sky. Give it a really big tickle, 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 clap. And bring your hands down in front of your heart. Take a moment to thank yourself and honor yourself. Say thank you, me, for having a healthy body, a strong body, a kind body, a brave body, a playful body, for trying new things and being so good and smart. There's a special word that we say at the end of yoga. Maddie, I know you know what it is. Adriana, do you know what it is? Namaste, that's right, we say namaste. And that means the light inside of me sees the light and the goodness and the kindness inside of each of you. True story. All right. We're gonna sing a song to end our class. If you know it, sing it with me. If you don't, you're gonna learn it so quickly. I pinky swear promise. My little light bows to your little light. Your little light, your little light. My little light bows to your little light. Namaste. Hooray! Thank you so much for joining me. We offer this class every single Wednesday at this time, 11.30 Eastern Standard Time, right here on Instagram. We also have toddler yoga on Tuesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We are, we do have a YouTube channel. Um, you can subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. It's Karma Kids Yoga is our channel. You can access that off of our website or just go to YouTube and look for us. There's so many videos up there. We also have Zoom classes. And one of the best things I'm gonna tell you today, if you're around this Sunday, frozen yoga too. Elsa is gonna be here. So is Anna and Olaf. So if you're free at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, come join us. When Elsa comes, it's always epic. Other than that, have a super fun rest of your day. Grown-ups, thank you for sharing your children with me. Kids, thanks so much for all your energy. I hope you have a super fun Wednesday. 
Be amazing, be kind. Yes, I'm gonna put this up. We always post on our page. Um, if you go to the Karma Kids Yoga page, you'll see so many videos on our um, IGTV. For story time, we put them up every week. Um, and um, other events in the future for when you're not working, but know that the events are for children. All right, everyone, have a super fun rest of your day. Bye, namaste.